I'm Dr. Narendra, consultant endocrinologist at Astor Whitefield Hospital, Bangalore. Today I'll be talking about diabetes in pregnancy. As we see commonly, diabetes can occur in pregnancy and this amounts to about 2 to 10% of all the women who are getting pregnant. So it could be a pre-existing type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes or a pre-gestational diabetes which gets diagnosed in the first trimester of pregnancy. So these are some of the reasons or conditions which are detected in the first trimester of pregnancy. Women can also get diabetes in the second or the third trimester of pregnancy, also known as gestational diabetes, which is commonly tested for between 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy because the risk of gestational diabetes is high and the, the diagnosis rate is also high during this period. So why is it important diabetes and pregnancy? Because Diabetes can affect or complicate the pregnancy affecting both the mother and the growing fetus in the early stage of uh, pregnancy and also throughout the pregnancy. In the fetus, it can lead to risk of uh, developing neonatal uh, uh, diabetes or even prolonged hypoglycemia post-delivery and also prolonged jaundice post-delivery and also development of cardiac or renal problems uh, in rare conditions. And also in the mother, it can lead to early pregnancy loss and also difficult labor or preterm delivery because of the high blood sugars. It can also increase the risk of preeclampsia or hypertension to the mother. So it is very important to have a good glycemic control throughout the pregnancy till the mother delivers a healthy uh, baby. And the best way to do this is the use of diet which is uh, being uh, advised uh, by the doctor and also a physical activity which is allowed by the doctor and if required the treatment of the best treatment of choice would be use of insulin because that is a gold standard for the treatment of uh, pregnancy with diabetes as uh, it is associated with a very low risk of any complications the use of tablets like metformin or glybrid are also been authorized to use but their use is very limited and in very select individuals so having a good glycemic control throughout the pregnancy is very important to have a very good pregnancy outcome and also a healthy baby so that you prevent the complications not only during your pregnancy but also post delivery. The gestational diabetes which usually occurs in the second or the tri third trimester of pregnancy as I mentioned usually disappears as soon as the woman delivers the child from the next day itself. But these women are still at risk of getting diabetes in the future pregnancies or future in their life. So it's always advised to follow a very healthy lifestyle even after delivery and also maintain a good body weight with good physical activity. So we at Astor Whitefield Hospital not only take care of your gestational diabetes but also other related conditions related with pregnancy like pregnancy with thyroid disorders or any complications of pregnancy and uh, also the complications associated with the neonates at the time of delivery. Thank you.